All right, so I'm going to go over with you um, how to name increasing and decreasing intervals when you're given a, a function or given a graph. Um, so in this picture here, um, we have what looks like mostly a polynomial except for this little section right here, but we'll talk about that. So um, when you have what looks like a polynomial except for that section, you're going to think to yourself, when you read a graph, you read it from left to right, just like you read a sentence, just like you read this sentence here, check out this graph. All right. So this graph is my little friend Lady here on the side, and Lady is going to um, walk along the graph. All right, and then when she turns, she gets up to the tippy top. And so notice like she's going up, all right? So you have to think to yourself, when something has a positive slope, when something has like a what's called a positive tangent line, then that means that you, your function is increasing at that moment. So this function was increasing all the way until she got to like the top of that hill right there. So you have to think to yourself, that is this number right here, that's negative one to negative three. Okay, she came all the way from over here, negative infinity. She got to negative three and she was increasing the whole time. When she's at negative three, she's not doing anything. She's just standing still like she's like, just like on like a flat surface. So she's not increasing or decreasing. So she's increasing from negative infinity to um, negative three. Then after that, well, she starts to, oops, sorry, she starts to go down. So she is traveling down or decreasing until she gets to that point. Well, that point right here is positive one. So all the way from negative three to positive one, she was decreasing. So negative three, positive one, right? And notice, you know, at when she's at positive one right here, she is not doing anything. She's just like standing still. She's not increasing or decreasing because her tangent line would be flat, all right? And then she starts to go on up here so she's you know increasing again positive slope so if you think of a tangent line here it would be a positive slope so she's increasing again from negative one all the way to you know when she gets up here then there she is flat again all right so what is that number one two three four so from one to four she was increasing so just another increasing interval all right and then um the next part you would say that She's constant. So if I had a question down here, um, when is she constant? She's constant all the way from 4 to infinity because she's not going up or down. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, um, but we're going to on this picture here. So, um, you know, you're going to think to yourself, this ladybug is traveling down, then up, staying constant, up, then down, up, constant. All right, so I don't have a, a spot for the constant intervals here, but I want to just go ahead and add it. All right, now notice on here, I'm only using x values. I didn't even tell you like how high these points were because I don't need them. I just need to name the x intervals that this thing is increasing or decreasing. All right, so remember, I'm coming from negative infinity, and then I'm going all the way to this spot right here. Well, that spot one, two, three, four, five, that's negative five. So I was traveling down, or Lady Bug was traveling down. So that was negative infinity to negative five. Okay, and then she's traveling up all the way until one, two, three, negative three. So negative five to negative three. All right, and then she's constant from negative three all the way to negative one. So now she's over here. All right, so negative three to negative one, constant. All right, and then traveling up, positive slope. So from negative one to positive one, it looks like increasing, negative one to positive one. All right, and then coming down all the way from one to one, two, three, what, one, two, three, four, sorry, one to four. That was a decreasing, one to four. All right, and then finally going up this little bit from looks like four to five. And then lastly, constant from five on. So from five to infinity. All right, so you're not going to have any parts that are constant on the graphs that you have to do, but um, anyway. All right, so these are your notes you have to fill out. And if you want to help us out here, little ladybug, um, she is traveling down and up and then down. So she is decreasing, increasing, decreasing. So I have two sections that are decreasing. So it can help you if you decide two sections are decreasing, well, then put two sets of parentheses. All right, and we have one section increasing. What can also help you is this. This graph is going all the way to negative infinity. 
it is doing something. It is doing this decreasing thing all the way to here. So that spot right there, that is negative 1. All right, so from negative infinity to negative 1, it's doing it's decreasing. So negative infinity to negative 1. So if you put the numbers on the bottom, then from negative 1 all the way to here, well, that's an x value of 3. So I'm trying to name the sections of the graph. Like, what are they doing? This section is decreasing. This section is increasing. So negative 1 to 3 here. All right. Then the next section goes from 3 to forever, goes all the way out here. So that section, 3 to infinity, is decreasing again. All right. Let's get her to help us out here. So here I have more parts. I have, she's starting at the top on the left. She's going down, up, down, up. All right. So I'm going to have basically two for each. So I've got two sets here and two sets down below. All right. So this graph starts at negative infinity on the left side. All right, and then this point right here, remember, I only care about the x value, so negative 2.5. So I'm naming a section of the graph. It's like I'm saying, hey, whoa, not that part. Sorry. It's like I'm saying, sorry, I can't get my pen to work. I'm saying this whole section of the graph, we used to use highlighters, that whole section of the graph all the way to back here to forever is um, decreasing. So that's what we're trying to do. Name a section of the graph that with x values. All right. So let's see. That was negative infinity to negative 2.5 decreasing. All right. So after that, whoopsie. The next section, she's traveling up. She's doing that all the way until she gets to the next high point. Well, the next high point is at 1. So this section right here is an increasing section. All right. Then the next section goes from 1 to right here, 5. So 1 to 5 is going back down. And then from 5 to forever, she's going back up. All right. So that's just a quick review of increasing and decreasing with harder problems. And then it's your job to do these two and these two, so these four problems. Just name the increasing and decreasing intervals. And I do have um, all the points labeled, so it's easier for you to just pick them out. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.